Mexico. Where were you born? Cincinnati, Ohio. Who would you want to play you in a movie? Um, that question, I don't know. I don't know. Jennifer Aniston. I love her. Ooh, okay, okay. What was your first job? My first job was weeding the garden of our neighbor. Boy. And I quit after I saw all the bugs. Started from the bottom, and now you are here. Mm -hmm. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear? The bugs? No, bugs aren't my biggest fear. What is my biggest fear? I mean, probably snakes. Sna that is In a... the backyard. Stepping on a snake in the backyard is my biggest fear. <laughs> that got very specific. Started off very broad, <laughs> got to the backyard. I'm an honest person. Selfie. Who makes you laugh the most? Uh, my best friend, Rose. What is one thing Also, you... The Office TV show. Okay, well, I don't know if that counts as one person, but... Michael Scott, who's your favorite Office character for everyone who watches The Office at home? Oh, definitely Michael Scott, yeah, that's... Okay. Uh, what is one thing you need to have in your fridge at all times? Uh, salsa. Southern California answer, good for you. What is your greatest accomplishment? My greatest accomplishment is marrying my husband. That's romantic. Mm -hmm. Who is the most interesting person you've met recently? The most interesting person I met recently, so this is a group of people, the most interesting people that I met um, are the college students at the YAF conference. They're so um, passionate about being there. They're so passionate about conservative values. Um, that's the most, and they come from all different walks of life. It's amazing. What is your middle name? Teresa, with an H. Ooh, like Mother Teresa. No, not like Mother Teresa. Shoot. Although, it was a 50, I, I, didn't mean that. I didn't mean that with any shade towards Mother Teresa. It's just, it's just spelling. Hers is without an H. Okay, well, I didn't know how it was spelled, so I went for it. You swing and miss sometimes, you know, Liz? Uh, what is your biggest pet peeve? When people leave water on the front of the sink, and I like lean down to brush my teeth and it gets my shirt wet. Where that was going. <laughs> I had to move my water just in case. Uh, what is the last book you read? Uh, Molly Hemingway's Justice on Trial. Oh, it's a really good. good book. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it's very good. I've been very good. around to it. Uh, what is your favorite hobby? Reading. What is your? I mean, this one's off the sheet. What's your favorite book? If you. What's have. my favorite book? Yeah. Like fiction or nonfiction? Uh. My favorite fiction. Let's go with book, fiction. We'll go with fiction because that's not typically what you would expect. Yeah. My favorite fiction book is a book called Song of the Voyager by Be Beverly Butler. It was published in like I want to say the 1930s. Hmm. It's great. Very good. Uh, what is your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure? People are going to judge me. That's the whole point of Watching guilty pleasure. Watching The Bachelorette. <laughs> uh, you know what? I know that there's people out there who are like, yeah, I, I know. I mean, this shows- gonna, I'll probably get 10 emails telling me why it's immoral. Well, it's been on, sh what, TV for like 20 years now? I mean, <laughs> people watch it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on. Do you have any hidden talents? Yes, I can ride a unicycle. Whoa, all right, well, we're gonna come back around to that one. Do you wanna hear, wait, do you wanna hear a fact, fun fact about that? Yeah, I do, I really do. You, we can't just leave that as that. So two of my sisters and I, when we were, this is when we were in grade school, this was a while back. When we were in grade school, um, we all rode unicycles together and we called ourselves, are you ready for this? I, I was the born The three one-wheelers. All right, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to dig into that, now I think I've got it all. Uh, <laughs> what color? Is your toothbrush? It's green. The one by the water at the sink that you spill on your shirt, right? Yes, it's green. Uh, what is your secret snack? Uh, my see, I don't really have a secret snack. I mean, I eat chips and salsa all the time. It's my go-to snack. I'm starting to pick up a theme around here. So a lot of salsa. Well, that makes sense, right? If it's my favorite snack, it would be the thing in my fridge. I guess that's why. That's why she's writing books, and I'm not. Uh, <laughs> how do you? How do you take your coffee? Oh, I don't drink coffee. What is your morning drink? A uh, kale smoothie. Mmm. <laughs> um, it actually is delicious. I'm sure. Um, what is the last movie that you saw in theaters? Men in Black. <laughs> How was it, by the way? It's not that good. <laughs> oh. oh, I hope they don't review your book. Uh, what is the last gift that you gave to someone? My book. I know that sounds like a really um, pretentious gift to give someone your yeah. own book, but it is around release date, so I've been giving them to people. Uh, for everyone at home, by the way, when I was asked to do this, I said, "Do I get a get, do I get a book?" And she said, "If you buy it." <laughs> I did say that, but I didn't mean it. <laughs> Bought it. <laughs> uh, okay, here's, I did. I did say it. Here's one that is probably pretty broad, but I, I'm sure you have a good answer for this. What is a cause that is dear to your heart? Um, the pro-life, protecting the unborn. 
just gonna. Uh, that's the number. One, that's the number one thing that I can think of. Yeah. Well, speaking of number one things, what is the number one thing on your bucket list? Meaning, like a place to travel to? Uh, you know what? Let's start with travel. If you could go to one place, oh, where would it be? Israel. I haven't been there, and I really want to go. That's a very good one. Uh, what about as far as career accomplishments? What is the next milestone, or it, it, just a milestone, I guess, on your bucket list? There's more people watching over there, so that's probably more fitting. This. This. You hear this? You can make her day. Just get this thing. And finally, <laughs> number 22. It took a little longer than two minutes, but... Well, we already got this one. Where do you want to go that you've never been? Oh, I answered that already. But we can end on a strong one. I, I mean, I can I can tell you where I want to go next, even if it's not Israel. Okay. Uh, my favorite place to travel is Cincinnati, Ohio, because that's where my family is. That's a good enough reason, Cincinnati.